So you're all here at this event because you're passionate about health. So passionate that you chose to make it your life's mission. I'm here today to invite you to a movement, a movement around a group of muscles that I believe are underloved and often ignored. And each and every one of you in the audience right now is sitting on that group of muscles. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, I am talking about your pelvic floor. I'm inviting you to join me in a pelvic floor movement. Thank you. So the incontinence product industry has told us that this is the solution. This is the solution to the millions of women that are having wine with their friends one night, laughing their butts off, and peeing their pants a little bit. In fact, so many women have believed that this is a solution, that by the end of this year, this industry will be a $21 billion industry. And to this, I say, it's not okay. Millions of men living with erectile dysfunction believe that in order to get their groove on, to enjoy juicy, passionate love, they have to, first of all, take a drug. They believe this so wholeheartedly that the erectile dysfunction drug industry by the end of this year will be a $9 billion industry. And to this I say, it's not okay. Women become new moms only to have their friends welcome them to their lifetime membership to the P Club. It's not okay. Menopausal women spend their days around bathroom break stops. And it's just not okay. Couples become disconnected from self and others when they're living with pelvic floor pain or pain during intercourse. And again, I say to this, it's not okay. Here we have Fergie, solo artist and lead singer of the Black Eyed Peas. Fergie was singing her heart out one day on stage, and this happened. The headlines the next day said, Fergie recalls her most embarrassing moment. Fergie reveals what happened when she peed her pants on stage. The most unattractive moment of my life and the truth behind Fergie's iconic piss picture. See, the reason I'm so passionate about pelvic floor health is I lived with my own undiagnosed digestive pain, which became pelvic floor pain, which I was on 11 different medications every single day for, only to have my medical team tell me that the pain was in my head, that I was seeking attention, and they wished me a nice life. And to these two situations, I say it's not okay. I learned about some research that said that nine out of 10 people that have pelvic floor dysfunction, it's not rooted in, medical, um, in, in the medical side of things. It's actually rooted in fitness, posture, and good movement. And as a Pilates instructor and movement expert, this lit me up because now I knew I could do something about it. I started to think about what would I do with my clients to work on their posture, to work on their breathing. And I came up with a framework that started working for me and for everybody around me. I had one little hiccup though. I knew that posture helped. I knew that breathing helped. And I also knew that like a plant needs sunlight and water to flourish, that muscles need oxygen-rich, nutrient-rich blood. And I didn't quite know how to do this. So as an entrepreneur, I did what we do is I saw a problem and I created a solution. The solution is the Cooch Ball, a three minute a day pelvic floor fitness tool that you simply sit on and breathe to complete the three Bs. This has been all the rage, right? What is the prompt? What is the right prompt to get that best hook for a subject line in your email? Chat GPT, AI, 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 but what about BI? What about our body intelligence? The intelligence we were innately born with. Will you join me in this pelvic floor revolution and focus on posture, your body position, your breath, and your blood flow? Who's joining me? Can I see, uh, can I see hands? Yes! And just imagine in 30 days from now having the best sex of your life having a restful sleep because you did not have to wake up in the middle of the night to go to the bathroom, and you didn't have to plan your day around bathroom breaks. Can I get your commitment to this by helping me finish this talk by saying, 
It's okay. Thank you.